Hi, welcome to Yardies Abroad. Thank you for watching another video. I'm your host Dillinger, and in this video, people, we have to talk about Ziggy Marley refusal of entry into a villa in Jamaica. Allegedly, according to Ziggy Marley, the owners of the villa do not permit Jamaicans to stay in their villa. What kind of something these people? Jamaican people come in, check in. Let me know what I go on. Um, now, guys, I'm going to read the article from Dancehall Magazine and so you guys could follow along and know what's going on. The article is going to be, I guess, over here. Ziggy Marley, the eldest son of reggae icon Bob Marley, an eight-time Grammy Award winner, has accused a luxury villa in Jamaica's north coast of discrimination. Marley, who recently wrapped up filming the Paramount Studio Bob Marley biopic on the island, said he attempted to book the Sea Salt Villa at Old Fort Bay in Ocherios last month, but according to the singer, the alleged owner, ref the owner allegedly refused because he does not rent his property to Jamaicans. Wow. However, when Dancehall Mag contacted Seesaw for a response to Ziggy allegations to confirm whether or not Jamaicans are blacklisted from staying in, at the property, a manager said the singer account of the matter was absolutely incorrect and that he is still welcome to stay at the villa on the condition that he follows their rules. Why wouldn't he follow their rules? What kind of dumb statement is that? Ziggy has discussed the matter with Kabu on IRFM this morning on the African Forum, the running African program titled Privatization of Jamaica's Beaches. According to the singer, he could now relate firsthand to discriminations many Jamaicans have complained about as similar treatment has been met out to him. We even face it with self because me face it the other day. Let me tell you what me mean. Me I try rent a place. We come Jamaica. We are work on the movie. Trench town, jungle, bull beer all over. Enjoy the time, hard work, so we finish that now. And I said, my family come. My wife come. Me youth them come. So, me have to find a nice place, a local villa somewhere to enjoy some beach life and what have you. Old Fort Beer, right here, so. Uh, what you the place named Sea Salt? A little villa named Sea Salt. Only if you find out, say, the man say, when him here, say, are we? Him say, him now nah rent the place to no Jamaican. Z yeah, say, we at our kind of place we are living at. A discrimination. You see, even though me a Ziggy Marley, me still no whole, me still no rule in a certain circles. My circles, them still in at the roots. So them still feel, say, boy, if them rent Ziggy Marley the place, maybe some of the roots. Sea Salt had disputed Marley's comments, revealing that the singer's mother, Rita Marley, and her family had stayed at the property earlier this year. The villa was just rented to Rita and her family a month ago, who had written glowing reviews about their stay and at the property, the villa manager said. A copy of the written testimony, which was signed by the Marleys, was provided. All right, people, so in the here, while Guan, Ziggy Marley refused entry into Sea Salt Villa. Um, well, Ziggy Marley, this is just the regular treatment that the average and normal Jamaican people go through every day. We get refused entry into regular, regular places in Jamaica. We can't go some beaches, we can't go some rivers, we can't afford to go to some places. Bob Marley, I roll over in a grave right now, may I tell you, because Bob Marley done so much for Jamaica, done so much for reggae music. And for Jamaica to do this to his son is ridiculous. How could you refuse Ziggy Marley entry into any villa? The man having money, having big money in Campia for villa, can probably buy that villa. 
So I don't understand why they were refused entry, why they were refused entry. People, on the camera, me know I kind of mistake this, how it look on Jamaican people, how it look on the hotel. I know that a lot of these resorts are foreign owned, so they don't really cater to the normal Jamaican people, but Ziggy Mali is a star. He's not a normal Jamaican person, right? He should be treated, or you would think he would be treated as a star. But like I said, this was a quick update, people. Thank you for watching Yardies Abroad. I'm Dillinger. Drop your comments down below. Let me know if you know if I fuck right or if you know I agree that they should be allowed, or do you think that Ziggy Marley is lying because the hotel um, is disputing his claim. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, right now, I don't even know what I'm going on. I don't even know what you think. I think Ziggy is telling the truth, though, personally. Yes. Peace. I'm out.